Hello YouTube, I very recently made a placements guide video uh, which you guys seem to really enjoy and uh, since then I have basically found a tip or I forgot about a tip that I didn't mention in the video so if you haven't seen that video go ahead and watch that video first and then come on back to this video and watch this video so in this video I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip regarding how you can skip essentially two times or at least once with a pretty smart trick that's gonna save you between three and five wins. And this is something that everyone can do in all elos from iron all the way up to diamond one, as long as you have a high enough uh, MMR and good enough LP gains. So Kesha here basically was a challenger player in season 11 on E West and he basically got placed in diamond two. And uh, if we take a look at this screenshot right here, it says, uh, so Kesha is the Nunu. So he says, guys, if I force remake and I'm on zero LP, I drop, right? So he drops down from diamond two, uh, zero LP, down to diamond three, 75 LP, essentially. That's what he's saying. And then Bart says, yep. And then he says, all right. And then he said, think so and then he says I'm out of here and then you see that he leaves the game and then he intentionally demotes to diamond 3 so division 3 and then you would think well why would he do that well because of the new uh, placements that he just finished after he's done with the placements he can then skip so that means in the first 10 games you cannot skip but after those 10 games you can skip depending on how much LP that you're getting so Kesha is getting more than 25 LP per win so this means that he's basically going to skip. So what's going to happen is he is now diamond free, 75 LP. He wins the very next game. And he went from diamond free, 75 LP to diamond one, one LP. And then you see there's a minus two LP penalty. Um, so that brings him like to 99 LP diamond two, but yeah, essentially, he saved a bunch of wins, right? Because he just got 25 LP plus 100 LP plus 1 LP minus 2 LP. So he essentially got, what, 126? He got 124 LP for winning one game by abusing this trick. And you can abuse the same trick, and you can actually also avoid getting this minus 2 LP penalty by leaving the game in loading screen and forcing your teammates to remake and then you lose LP. So that's basically the trick. So how can you abuse this trick? So first of all, you want to take a look at your LP gains. So one way that you can look at it is if you have already skipped. So let's say you skipped from a division four to a division two. It could be Bronx four to Bronx two. Or you skipped from, well, it's best if you do this, but otherwise you can also skip from division three to division one, but then this trick doesn't really apply to you. Otherwise, if you, for whatever reason, played and ended up in division two with a low amount of LP, so I would say between like one and maybe 20 LP, Essentially what you want to be doing is you can remake three games. So you remake two games after two remakes. You are now in division two, zero LP. And one more remake makes you demote. Down to division three. And then you win the very next game. And if you get more than 25 LP, you skip from division three to division one. And then you get essentially those 126 LP. All you want to be doing is basically remaking the game. You don't want to connect to the game because that way you get this LP penalty. So if you just leave during loading screen, then you don't get any LP penalty. You just lose LP for not connecting to the game. And that will still make you um, demote. So some people intentionally demote from Division 2 down to Division 3, so that they can skip to Division 1. And that's basically the tip. So, if you guys have any questions regarding this, leave it in the comment section down below. 
or if I didn't explain it uh, good enough or you didn't understand it, then I can go more in depth or explain it a different way. Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, then re remember to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. And always, I hope to see you guys on my next YouTube video or in my next live stream on Twitch. So thank you for watching and see you guys.